All right. So today we have a very special video. I'm gonna turn off, eh, we'll leave the lights on the way it is. I'm gonna turn one more on. A little more light on the subject. Today we have a French ration, a French RCIR 24 hour. We did one of these here a couple weeks ago. Went over really good. This one has the expiration of May 21st, 2023. So it's the newest ration, right? This one is essentially sausages, duck, duck confit and beans, pork rice and pineapple. We got some deer pate, and that's what we're gonna read. We'll have to open it up to see the rest of it. It should be very interesting. So as you guys know, these are some of the best rations you could possibly get. If you want the knife, link will be in the description in the Amazon store. This one got a little bit of road rage in the post office on it. But I think it should be okay. I mean, long run, I'll chuck that to the side. Um, I'll pull this over. All right, start off with, we have the chocolate measly, which is always the best. You guys know that. This is actually my favorite measly of all time. And uh, definitely great. Now, we have the soup. This is the cream of mushroom soup. I actually had this before. It's very, very nice. We have a sports drink. This is the mango sports, mango tea. We have strawberry jam. We have our campaign biscuits. So usually you have your, your chocolate, your cereal, and your salted. Here's our main. We have cassoulet superior au canard which I believe is duck in it, let me see. Yes sir, that's the old duck sausage, right? Grade school reference. Ooh, almost had a casualty here. It's like the post office got a little rowdy with that one. No. But this is our, was it pork and pineapple? Pork, rice, and pineapple. Interesting. We're lucky on that one, that didn't get busted open. Here we have our commando bar coffee. It's looking like it was squished, but I guess not. Our pate fruit bar, our nougat bar, our commando uh, fruits bar, the Nora chocolate. Looks like she's been melted and squished a couple times. Next up, this should be some cheese fondue. Let me translate. I can't remember. This translates to melted goat cheese. Should be interesting. But here we have, should be our deer pate. Okay, so I couldn't get translate. I couldn't get any deer translated from that, but I just Googled it here and it says, essentially venison terrine uh, with cognac is what it is. You can see that, go look it up if you want. There's the name of it. Whatever you want to do. Anyhow, I want to make sure that's what it was and it wasn't just saying that on the package. We have tissues or TP. We have our little stove, which also is going to have our little spork in it. There we go. We'll use the spork, I guess, to make it more authentic. That's our Esbest stove with the fuel tab, all that stuff. We're going to chuck this off to the side. Get our knife. Actually, this has a little bit different label. Like everything's made just a little bit different on these. The first one I ever had that you could just pull open. We have some black tea, a little bit different sugar packs. These are brown, usually that's not the case. We have some mint tea, a lot of different coffee, have two different coffees. I've not seen that brand before. And I've not seen this brand of cocoa before either. Should be interesting. We have a couple of salt and peppers, and that's it. Let's go ahead while we're here, let's open these up and we'll go ahead and put those on the hot plate. We're really lucky this didn't get exploded. There's our pork and rice. It smells very nice. Maybe a little bit of curry in that, a little yellow curry. There's our duck sausages.
duck sausages with beans. You can see the sausage in there. Interesting, huh? It just smells like beans. It should be interesting. Let's heat these up. We'll be right back. Okay. This got the hot water going in the kettle. This is not a gusseted bag, so let's go ahead and just dump it out into the bowl. We'll mix her on up. So we can't make a big ass mess. There we go. Always, always, always mix it with hot water. If you haven't had it with hot water, that might be, nah, that's not too much water. If you haven't had it with hot water, you don't know what you're missing. This stuff will soak all that up and turn into something that resembles glue very quickly. I'm set that over here, that over here. We're gonna mix up our mushroom soup. And this was, let's see, have 250 mil. So not very much actually. There we go. Here we are. Kind of smells like spoiled milk in that form. But, like always, let me see, where's our... We're about right there, which doesn't look like very much, but that's what it calls for, so... We could always add more, but we can't take it away. I guess since it's like a creamy soup, um, you can't mix much water with it. Good enough for now, we'll mix that again here in a little bit. Next up, we'll do our tea. This is our black tea. Oh, it's hard to tell, it has almost a mint smell to it. Put some water in it to see. There we are, let's take a whiff of that. I guess not. It's hard to tell it's something just right out of a tea bag. There's that. We have some cocoa here and chocolate. I may not make all of it. What do you guys think? This is what I'm gonna do. I always make the cocoa. Always, every single time. Let's keep that. We'll make the coffee this time. That'll be kind of a, a little bit of a change up, I guess. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Well, <laughs> we didn't look at it before I poured it. I got a little ahead of myself. There's that, we'll set that off to the back side. Actually. And these packs should be about half to one of these cups. A little bit clumped up. Well, that smells good. The mango tea is usually is pretty decent. That's right about half. Go a little more with it just in case. He's... I guess it could mix that with hot water, but. Oh, let's just go all, all out here. We've never done it with hot water before. Why not, right? That was all the water we had, so it worked out. Two hot teas. It's interesting. We'll put this off to the side. And I think we're ready. Our mains are right here, they are done. I went out to check on them last time we got them a little hot, and this time they were both boiling hard. So uh, I think we got them just in time. 
Let's go ahead and pick them both up at once. A little on the risky side. Here is our pork. And here is our duck sausages. And I guess we'll just do them like that. I don't know. Let's see. I haven't decided yet. Haven't decided yet. We'll pour them out, but then I guess it doesn't really matter. Get her a little, little baby spork out here. And a little bit too hot to handle. Let's try first our duck sausages here. And there's like a, a big sausage and a little sausage. To start off with, we have this little piece of sausage, right? There we go. Whoop, dripped. The little piece is the duck sausage. You taste this duck a little bit on the drier side, I would say. Almost like a, a venison sausage, to be totally honest with you. Let's try some of the beans. The beans are seasoned very well, almost like a, a ham hock and beans type situation going on. A little bit smoky, but a real nice sauce. The big sauce, there's only actually one big sausage. Very tender. Which tells me this could be pork, maybe. But it didn't say that, it said duck. So let's see. You can see here. There are smaller pieces of, of the duck sausage in here. That's a very interesting, and here's pieces of actual duck meat. Well, you can tell it's duck meat just by looking at it. A little bit stringy, tougher. You can definitely tell it's duck breast. A little bit gamey. The big sauce is not really sure. Definitely has some, some pork in it because it's not... It doesn't taste the same, right? You can see here. Yeah, definitely has some pork in it. You can taste the greasiness to it. It's a very nice dish though. It's not what a person would think. It's very mild. It's not spicy. It's not overdone does have a, a pork or a beef broth kind of taste to it, almost like a stew. I'd say it's definitely a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's a very, very nice, well put together dish. Something you don't see a lot here in the States. Woo! We're gonna try some of this pork. I didn't stir this up, I should have. I hope it's not burnt on the bottom. And this is our pork and rice. You can see it does have some, indeed, some yellow curry in it. Has some pieces of pepper. Look at that. Definitely a lot of lemon juice in it. Has a very fresh taste to it. That's an interesting dish also. It doesn't taste nothing like you would think. A little bit sweet from the pineapple that's in it. Overall though, very mildly flavored. Very well put together. You can see some of the meat in it now as I bring it up here. There you go. I tell you what, I really do like that. That's a very nice dish. It's never a surprise of these. It never is a disappointment with any of these French meals. They're always guaranteed extremely well flavored, extremely well put together. 
And there's a few other ones I'd like to try coming up. Look how thick that is. <laughs> well, you probably use that as drywall paste. Is it supposed to be that thick? Well, I really don't know. I'll give her a little mix up here and let's taste it. Hey, maybe it's not salty or anything. I don't remember it being that thick, but it's been a long time since I had this mushroom. You taste some mushroom in it. It's not full of onions, it's not full of garlic, it's nothing weird in it. Just like a really nice cream and mushroom soup. That's actually a really good soup. That's maybe some of the best I've had. Obviously the fish soup, I always like that the best. It's my thing for some reason, for whatever weird reason that may be. It is, but let's move on here. We're gonna move on to our pate, our venison pate. The cognac, we'll use our spoon from the soup. Wow, that's really nice. I'm also really hungry, so maybe that helps it out a little bit too. So a lot of the game pates like this, they put cognac in, I guess, to offset the gaminess taste. I don't know how to describe the taste of it. Like here in America, they don't usually don't put there, but it's a very creamy, it's not really pat taste, more of a meat. More of a luncheon meat, but wow, it has some really good flavor to it. The thing about it is usually, when you get stuff like that, it can have an odd taste you're not familiar with, but that, that's spot on. I mean, everything so far has been really, really great. Let's hold off here. We'll do, we'll come back to that here in a second. Let's try our mango tea, which is very hot in this glass for some reason. I thought that was a good idea. A nice little hint of mango to it. Not excessive, not incredibly artificial. Nothing weird going on with it. Overall, just very nice and clean. I tell you what, I can't take it anymore. The muesli, look at the chocolate milk. And that's what you get when you do the, the hot water, it melts all the chocolate. And look at that. I mean, holy crap. The oats are still whole, a really nice flavor to them. Not crunchy, but nice and firm. Cleanse our palate just a little bit here. Take a sip of the black tea. We need to get rid of that tea bag ASAP. It's almost done steeping. In my opinion, it doesn't really need any sugar or anything in it. If we had some honey, we'd definitely put it in there. You know, a lot of people put jam in the tea. I just think that's kind of weird, to be totally honest with you. Speaking of weird, we're gonna try our jam out here, but we are gonna do, we're gonna try it with a pate. Because I know everybody really hates that, so that's probably the right thing to do, right? We use our a cereal cracker. We could do it on a sweet cracker. It doesn't matter, I guess. All right, and we did zoom that in pretty far. Let's go back out with that just a smidge. Here we have our cereal crackers, take a whiff. Smell really good, nice and fresh. We'll go open our jam up. Has a tear notch, but we're gonna be crazy and kind of blow it. There we go. Our nice little biscuit. Well, I already said I was gonna put the pate on it too, didn't I? Let's set that to the side just for one second. Let's get some of that. Usually I put the jam on top of it, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? There we go. There we go. 
I tell you what, that's perfect, perfect for a snack. You know, if you're in the French military and you get this meal, you have all kinds of options. I'm sure nobody eats it. How it's supposed to be eaten, I'm sure they break it up or just take certain elements out, put it in their backpack, and that's it. But you have the option to do so, which is great. Let's take a sip of this coffee. Looking pretty dark. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Yep. That's pretty bitter. Pretty stout cup of coffee. Our goat cheese fondue. I'm not so sure that sounds just all that appetizing. I've gotten this before and it was blue cheese fondue. That was pretty funky. I like blue cheese, but it was weird. You can see here, it's just like a really white cheese. It kind of has that goat smell to it though. It doesn't have the taste though. I mean, that's a really nice creamy cheese. Look at that. And I tell you what we need to do so we could A little bit of that, maybe. Hmm. That's a really, really nice cheese. Not potent at all. You can slightly tell it's goat. You just kind of get that, you know, goat smell, that kind of billy goat smell. You get a little bit of that, but it's tolerable. For sure tolerable. Interesting. Take another sip of this. We're going to try these bars out. That's just so raging hot. <clears throat> try our nougat bar out first. I won't spend much time on these. We do, we've done these quite a bit. You guys kind of know the story on it already. This one's very soft though. Got the rice paper on it. Nougat's absolutely perfect. Because you got dates, all kinds of little pieces of fruit in there. No paint taste, no old taste whatsoever. This was our fruit rugget, rugets. little bit of almost like a, a nougat like a candy bar center essentially very mild you barely notice the fruit taste hey, a little bit of raspberry hint to it it's hard to pick up on that a fruit pate jeez This thing's kind of wet, and I don't think it's supposed to be. That don't taste weird. This may not be any good. It was kind of wet feeling inside the bag. I feel like the bag had a hole in it. Let's not chance that anymore. I took a small bite of it. Maybe we'll live through it, maybe we won't. This is our coffee bar. Commando coffee. Barely any coffee taste at all to it. Ultra mild. I'll get a little bit of that. This pocket bar is probably not going to be any good. It's pretty toasted, I would say. Really toasted. Look at that. We'll probably go ahead and toss that. That's like so hard to barely get out of the package. It glued itself to the package. Melted and melted over and over. Probably the same thing happened to the pate bar. That is gonna be it, guys. What an awesome meal. This is definitely 10 out of 10. If you get a chance to try this menu, definitely go try it. This is menu number nine. 
Excellent. Thanks, guys. We'll see you very soon.